Hello everybody, welcome to the second semi-final of Chalice. Um, it is Cyber Knight and his Bretonians versus Ducky and his vampires. And in the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, Skuro Metzo. Hello. Hello. Yes, that's right. Two competing Blood Bowl coaches trying to find out who gets to get clawed out of existence by Rick. <laughs> reckless in the finals this is rick's tournament to win it finally but these two guys have some something to play for as well the honor of being the guy who made rick the champion <laughs> now but in all seriousness yeah. two excellent coaches you know ducky's vampires took took a bit of a beating last round didn't they uh, but, i think two rounds ago they did yeah uh, two rounds ago yeah but uh you know, he knows he if anyone knows how to handle a very good Bretonian coach, it should be Ducky, if not Jimmy, because I hear Jimmy's pretty good against Bretonians. <laughs> yeah, I've done okay. I've done okay. <laughs> I've done okay. <laughs> but never in a high pressure situation, so that's what this is. And, well it's uh, it's unusual for Brett to get to a high press pressure situation, isn't it? Funnily enough, uh, Ducky did face Bretonians. I mean, he has won CCL with Bretonians himself, and he has also lost in the final to Bretonians. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. I did. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had orcs, and he, he was like, I was just like, there's no way the there's no way the Brets can beat orcs, and then they just diced the living pants off him. <laughs> oh, he's gone for the blitz on the sidestepper. Is he? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe a bit risky here. Indeed. Gets the power. I mean, he's got tackle. So yeah. So these are the so these are the teams we've got. I mean, the Bretts have got four really good blitzers. They've all got blood step tackle. Um, we've got one mighty blow frenzy, one with guard, one with move up and leader, and one with sure hands and diamond tackle. So really, really good core of blitzers. That's what's set this apart. This team apart. Um, he's got three guard. Blockers, which is nice, isn't it? A couple of stand firm. He's got a dirty player peasant. Um, so yeah, it's like it's it's a really nice it's really nice team. It's like okay, it could be better, you know, with strength ups and stuff. But this is, the blitzers are pretty nice. They've, the fact that they're all consistently good, like all at least fifty one SPPs, yeah. most of them on seventy six is is really nice. Um, the that ball carrier, that ball carrier is pretty interesting, huh? The diet he just kind of does a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice, good, isn't good, it? Good, good. Good player. Um, oh, we've, we've already seen a Bloodlust and Pro fail. And it's only a stun. Um, so yeah, obviously the classic thing of eating your LOS there from Ducky. <laughs> um, D Ducky's team was better. It did have another Edge 5 vampire. Um, the only other losses were like Thralls, which then got replaced. So... Um, it's you know he's he's up to fifteen players so he's he's really pretty much back to where he was except he is down a vampire and it was an agility five vampire but he's got a move up one and again, again like a quite a good core of vampires here they've pretty much all got bludge pro uh, yeah they all have bludge pro and then oh no four of them have bludge pro and okay no no okay, there's a lie some have bludge pro. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a fair bit of pro. More pro yeah. than you'd see in most Blood Bowl games on the pitch right now. Yeah, pro pro is really good, right? Because it lets them re-roll the Bloodlust, which wouldn't ordinarily cause a turnover. So, like, yeah. you, you, the, thing with, the thing with pro is, you, the things that you want to use a team re-roll for, you want to re-roll. And they're generally turnover-causing things, whereas you still want to re-roll a Bloodlust, you just can't afford the re-rolls, and it doesn't cause a turnover, so it's really a rubbish thing to use a team re-roll on, but it's an excellent thing to use a pro re-roll on. And also, you can use it on the Hypnotic Gazers, which again, are really good to happen, but you don't want to, you don't want to use any team re-rolls on them, so it's just ultimate value for pro on, on Vampires. Really good skill for them. And you've got a bunch of Bludges. Yeah, this one doesn't actually have Bludge, he has Juggernaut um, on top of Mighty Blow Tackle. And then he's got a bit of a crap vampire, which is of course C not Jimmy. Um, so yeah, this is a bit bit restrained here from <laughs> Ducky. Yeah. Did he lose a star player from this team in that in that shellacking, or was he just whittled down a little bit? Yeah, it was like it was a it was like a seventy six SPP vampire with Edge five and Blodge Pro. And stuff. <laughs> that's right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. Just a pretty pretty important. 
pretty important piece to the puzzle there, but uh, Ducky has DP on the bench, right? Because you yes. watch a Ducky game, you want to see Ducky foul, but he's saving that <laughs> for the second half, most likely. I still got it. He's got, yeah, he's, he's started with his dirty player guard. Oh, he's got a DP right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he's guard, so he's not really going to want to get him sent off, is he? So it's, uh, yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> what does C not mean? I, I don't know, Elvis. Maybe you just failed to spell count correctly. I, I've got no idea. The C nut is a, uh, it's a, it's a type of legume that grows on the interior of the Mediterranean coast. Is it? Um, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. C nuts are, uh, they're used for like pestos and stuff like that mostly. Um, they have the long history of the Etruscan, you know, the Etruscan tribes, Jim, early, <laughs> early days on the, uh, on, uh, what is now known as Italy. But, uh, this was like pre Roman empire, the Etruscans. Uh, that was one of their cash crops, a staple crop that they started exporting to northern Africa, uh, the interior of Eurasia. So, yeah, sea nuts, um, uh, very important, very important to uh, to that, again, that interior Mediterranean coastal region's development. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Skuro, the, with the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't just make that up. <laughs> Oh yeah, he just leveled this guy. Look, and he's he's gone. Jugs. I mean, Jugs is quite nice, isn't it? He made that up. I can't believe that. Dave. 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 Na Dave. 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 You're just sour. You're just sour because I swerved you with the whole Mister E J Five thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not the great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Great classic uh, warlord. Who uh, was named after his uh, his C nut? Uh, <laughs> wrote, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, he had a C nut allergy, didn't they? And <laughs> just as a joke. Like... <laughs> <laughs> ah, Dave, Dave, we 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 remember what happened. You had no idea. You were you were shocked. <laughs> shocked. That is a good point, Grimace. Yeah, and look, it's a guard at the end of the day. Like he, he might be wasting twenty k on the on the. Uh... On the DP, or he might be wasting thirty k on the guard, but they're they're both worth having, aren't they? So, yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, Lehman Russ, um, and he did actually have a, a an allergy to sea nuts, and that's why that's why they called him Canute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> you know, this is quite. Decent for Ducky, isn't it? Because he doesn't have to activate the vamps as much. Um, so he can get away with a bit less activating. So he, he doesn't really mind this kind of stall, I guess. And he can obviously still go all in on the uh, on the ball when uh, Cyber actually moves up. Okay. Oh no. PC. Oh, PC. Was well, this he has a break then? It's more like a minor break or something. He was Steve Motty and nobody knew. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <help. laughs> I know, no one could figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, green stem. Green stem fractures, the most common most common injuries in children under the age of twelve. Wow, you are a you are a fountain of knowledge today. <laughs> I know that one actually might. I don't know if I, I don't know if that that's actually true that they're the most common. But like, yeah, do you know why they call them green stem fractions, Jim? No. It's because uh, children's bones are. This is actually true. Children's bones are not fully developed like an adult's bones, so yeah. they're they're a little bit more flexible. So it's like if you take a fresh twig. And you snap it; it doesn't just snap in half. You know, it kind of like no, gets fibrous, yeah. and yeah. that's what a that's what a green stem fat fracture is. Mm. And that's what PC made his kid live through for a week before finally taking him to the hospital. I'm just kidding. <laughs> PK. I'm really sorry to hear that. That sucks. <laughs> Those summary beatings every time he loses at Blood Bowl. <laughs> kind of it's, uh, it's brew. It's brewing, Steve Motti. It's looking pretty good. I think they're. Uh, I think they're poking through soon. <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> God. Oh, dear me. Hasn't quite blossomed yet. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Oh, dear. He's got a power. Is something going to happen in this game? Yes! Oh, baby. It's a stun! A bloody stun! <laughs> This is like this is hilarious because this is like what happens in American baseball a lot, where it's just like nothing's happening. So the color commentary guy just starts talking out of his ass for four hours <laughs> to fill space. Yeah, that's what happens when you get open fault force in wrestling commentary. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was wildly entertaining, but uh, yeah, it, well, it didn't really stay on. Didn't really stay on point. It, it was noise that occurred in front of us, yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, golf as well, isn't it? The golf commentary is yeah. all... All... Yeah, pretty, all the sports that no one really understands why they like it. <laughs> <laughs> they all suffer from the same commentary curses. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> There you go. Well, look, it, it's a skewer the zone with a mushroom patch. Uh, hey, we're still good here. We're, <laughs> we're still on this game right now. Yeah. So a couple of stuns there. Ducky made them both. <laughs> He's bloodless. Activating quite a few vampires, shuffling them around a bit. Um, I guess Cyber's content with... with, with, uh, with wasting the turns here, because what happens with vamps is often they'll put you under the cosh. And then, you know, it's hard for you to stabilise. And then they'll get you the turn after or whatever. Whereas now, if they if they go for the ball and they don't get it or, they, you know, they put them under pressure, at least he'll be able to hand off and run away and score. Rather than, you know, like, often after the initial vampire assault, you have problem defending the ball the turn after it. So by doing this, if Cyber just, you know, waits like... He's essentially daggering here, isn't he? Um, by waiting to engage, then... The subsequent turn he won't have to defend, he'll just be able to score. Maybe that's what his plan is. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, huge cars. Instant apple, surely. Yeah. He does bring out the apple because he didn't want to rely on the regen. Yeah. And it doesn't regen. Oof. Oh, 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 man. Everything went wrong there. Oof. Huge. Huge cast result there. Miss next as well, so he's not in the final, even if Ducky makes it. That is a massive... That is a seismic equity shift, that, isn't it? That is huge. Ducky's chalice equity just went down by a hell of a lot there. Yeah, it really did. But you know, it's Ducky. <laughs> let him, let him get, let him get a little offense in, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Regen would have worked if he didn't apple. Yes, it's it's easy to say that on the results of the dice, but um. You know, it was it was still I think it's still the right thing to do. He didn't want to lose that guy for the rest of this game and for the final, so he got an extra chance, didn't he? And it just didn't work. Absolute dicing. So he has moved up after removing a vamp. Maybe that gave him the uh the minerals to, to move up. But now will Ducky go for the ball here? Nice little, uh, it's based, but nice, like, double layer on the right there. Protect the ball a little bit, but he can still get in pretty easily because he's vampires. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Large five vamps especially, he can always get in. Yeah. Um, it's just whether he thinks it's worth the massive commitment and lack of recovery. Um, and he might do. You know, at the end of the day, things can happen. And yet, Dio, I think Rick would find a way to make that wildly interesting. I suppose that sounds like a bit of an insult. <laughs> yep, this is easy, isn't it? I mean it, I mean it with love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really easy. Okay, yeah, I see it. And now... <laughs> Just walks right in on yep. a 2+. plus. Yep. Yeah. 
Red wall comes in. Ooh. Ooh. Does not get him. And now, Ducky's left with three players on the wrong side of the ball. And it's pretty tricky, isn't it? The dice are not All of a sudden, that hole that he made to get through is going to help... Uh, Gonna help uh, Cyber Knight just as easily here. Yeah. He needs to make a three plus and a two plus. Pro fails. Wow. <laughs> Christ, I might have even considered just re rolling that one. He'd already used his team re roll, hadn't he, on the hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He used it on the blitz, of course. Yeah. Oh, please. More yeah, and now with that stun, that makes it even more gaping hole to go through. So this yeah. is looking yeah. very dodgy for the defense. Duckster. Gets to blitz his Mighty Blow Tackler with Mighty Blow. And then just come up here. Very nicely. Maybe not, because he's moved this guy in. I don't understand that. I would have just recovered him. Okay, so he's just blocking him, wrestling him, okay. Well, that's good, that, that frees up the blitz somewhere else, doesn't it? Just hit that kicker and uh, clear out pretty much the entire right side of the field. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I wouldn't have minded leaving him standing to hit this guy with Mighty Blow, but I guess that was, that was kind of safer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a toothpick up the Dartford tunnel, as I often say to the wife. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, PC. <laughs> I'm giving a tic tac to a whale. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've always preferred throwing a sausage down a hallway. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one. Um, yeah, yeah that a, hot one dog a hot dog down a hallway, yeah. <laughs> Go with sausage to remain to, to to keep some dignity, El. <laughs> Here comes that blitz on the kicker. Yeah. He's got frenzy. Does nothing. Oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> Right, so he's leaving this side exposed, isn't he? Which yeah, I mean he can just run that move amp around on a bunch of yeah. GFIs to hit. It's not great, but I mean, what else is he gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I guess. But then he's got to layer up. He's got to layer up this side because this is where the two vamps are, isn't it? So it makes sense to layer up this side rather than protecting that. Oh, it does make sense. I can see that. Could just go with this guy. He hasn't got tackle though. He's 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 lacking tackle. To be fair, the thing about Ducky's team is the lack of tackle, isn't it? Because this is one of his tacklers that got removed, and he's have to give up tackle for movement and edge, which you know are both great things to to give up tackle for. But unfortunately, um, yeah, that's that's a, there's a big lack of tackle now. So even if he does yep. hit him, which this is probably easy, right? The edge five is probably the easiest one, two, three. Yeah, four, yeah, five, looking six, at that. Two, Oh no, two That's GFIs a guarder there, there. That's so he can't, yeah. yeah, he can't be against the guarder. Yeah, it's a double GFI to hit. That would work. Yep. Or you just, <laughs> it just fail a dodge. <laughs> a two plus dodge. Yep. Yeah, Vamps really need the tackle, don't they? Because they're all about the ball, so... They really do need tackle a lot more than other teams. I found that out in my brief, my brief foray into coaching vampires. <laughs> uh, I did want blood step pro on everybody, but ultimately you, you need that tackle. It's, it's very important. That tackle. Oh man, these bloodlusts are not treating Ducky nicely. Yeah, so he's gonna he can't hit the ball because oh he wasn't blitzing with it. No, no, he's gone for the he's gone for the. Uh, yep. Seven, maybe. Oh please. Yeah, it was a very brief, a brief experience I've had with Vance.
Uh, you go almost as bad as Dimmy. <laughs> 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 All right, here comes the blitz on the ball. Yep. And he gets the ball down. Oh, he's uh, pros it! Oh, he doesn't have it. tackle. Yeah, no tackle on that one. At least he's got something on that right side now that's <laughs> pretending <Yeah>. to impede <laughs> the advancement of the Brats. Yeah, and he's got sidesteps, so he's tricky to hit. Yeah. Yeah, especially, I mean, my 30 games are over multiple runs as well, right? So, like, if you get the team up and up and going, you can get good records with Vamps. And, like, especially when, you, you know, when you get a team like this, Vamps are no longer a joke because they're, like, their power is off the charts. Yeah. Uh, whereas uh, at, at rookie level, yeah, they, they really need Bludge Pro. They need Bludge Pro, I think. And they really want sidestep and they really want tackle. Yeah, see, even Elliot with loads of games hasn't got that good a record because you've got the kind of the crap period at first before you get to the good period. <laughs> Mike Elliot's done had some amazing vampire runs, hasn't he? Good morning, Volk. Morning, Volk. Oh, oh, oh. goes a thrall. Yeah. Yeah, Cyber's got a lot of experience with vampires, hasn't he? So I guess that, that that's good for playing against them. A lot of people will struggle against vampires due to lack of experience playing against vampires. Like, no one's got a lot of experience playing versus vampires, do they? No one really does. No matter how yeah. many games you play, because the, the percentage of players who use vampires is so small. So they really the way to know how to beat vamps is to play them like yourself, I guess. So yeah, I guess I... And you'll, uh, like, frequently on, uh, you know, in CCL, you'll spin into a vampire team that isn't just always using hypnotic gaze. Like, <laughs> just because you're playing against vamps doesn't mean they're being played properly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, another vamp going down here. He gets the smooth power. Not that it matters because he had tackle, but Tucky's like, yeah. oh, only had those dice. <laughs> He's good. Well, I think there's still a way to hit the ball here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. There's always going to be a way to hit the ball, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. It's just how good is it? Vampire, the, the thing is, he's just gonna, he's gonna make yeah. it hard for this vamp to get to this square, isn't it? Which kind of is. Yeah, that's that. He's helps. removed that too by bringing, yeah, bringing both of the, uh, both that, of the peasants. To that's their really nice. That that, that peasant move is great. That's genuinely great. That peasant move because he's just got it. Okay, well, no, now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it had, had to be. <laughs> it's actually not. It's it's not as good as that. You can just do it with this guy now. Then it's still pretty hard to get in if he even if he even if he hypnos that. This that, guy uh, it. Yeah, if he hypnos that guy, it's still hard to get in because he's still got to dodge because of the other peasant. Yeah, yeah, but then really the other peasant can get goes by him. Edge five yeah. can gaze this one. He yeah. can gaze this one, and then he just walks in. Or even then, it's seventy-five percent dodge. As long as he gaze this one, he's got he's got dodge on the dodge in. He hasn't got dodge. Yeah, that's. He hasn't got dodge. Oh. Dimmy, Dimmy, don't dodge. He's got a reroll though, so. Yeah. Oh, he's not going for the ball. He's just trying to stay in front. Pros it, gets the knockdown. I really didn't hate going for this because just the fact you've got the thrall there to, to that they could both you know if they both failed they could both eat him. Um, 
so I kind of didn't hear that. Oh. Yeah, I heard uh, UFC was good, but uh, didn't watch it because I was fucking shattered. <laughs> Ducky doing the uh, doing the free hypnotic gazes, unlike as you say, about ninety percent of vampire coaches in CCM. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, it could really help tie teams up. You know, just taking away that, you know, assist the guard, especially with the guard up there. Yeah. Got to do it. Yeah, this is a nice guy because you can gaze him and then ink this guy. That, that's why. I, that's why I like doing this move. Like, I would have maybe thought about starting with this move. Because it is a 50-50, right? But if you get it, it opens up things, potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was the safer. This was the safer move. You get something in front. You know, even, even though Vamps aren't very good at two-turning, you'd still rather not let them have a two-turn, wouldn't you? So, I mean, you should be able to make this relatively safe, I guess. Especially as you can just run away from the... <laughs> you can run away from the tackler, can't you? I quite like running away from the tackler. Just go on the, go on the sideline with the ball. And, uh, and the tackler can't hit you at all. No, definitely not for him. It's it's certainly not over, is it? I mean, this is still tricky for for Cyber. Ah, he's gonna blitz that vampire. That that works as well, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, blitz through him. Go over to the left there. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Because then you're getting away from the move and the and the yeah. edge vamp. Edge. So, yeah. So it's really nice, really nice to build blitz him. If you can afford to blitz him. And yeah, it looks like... It looks like he can get this guy in, doesn't it? Has he got a GFI? Oh, no, he's just going to protect. Okay, that, that makes sense. And he's going to rely on Dauntless for the frenzy hit. Just assist with the uh, peasant. Yeah, fight is generally do always fight too long, that is true. Oh, he's a bolt down. He puts in the reroll, gets the pow. I mean, now the ball's a hell of a lot more protected. Okay, not having. Or is he yeah, Ducky not having any luck here, keeping his vampires on their feet. <laughs> no. But still, this is just two gazes. Oh, okay, unless he makes these dodges. Yeah, now it gets a lot trickier. Can we just gaze around the back on a 4+, plus though? Yeah, he gazes that back dodge garter. The back dodge garter. Oh, this one, yeah. But then he's not hitting with. Uh, then he's not hitting with tackle, is he? And like he's much more. Uh, Cyber's much more concerned about stopping the tackle hit, isn't he? But yeah, he's still yeah. got this guy free, so this guy could show up yeah, the back. Yeah. The back door. I think this is enough to 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 solve the tackle problem. These three, because he'd have to. You'd have to gaze all three of these. So yeah, he puts the guard on the other side. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Tricky. <laughs> yes, Eric behind me. Yeah, that is the <laughs> that is the thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But it's also just like the pride and everything, isn't it? That's the thing. Well, it's hard to... <clears throat> this happens in all sports. Like, 
you know, when you think about when you think about most athletes' retirement, like an old athlete is like forty. You know, yeah. so like if you don't, you know, not every money you're making, you know, not every sport you're making like millions upon millions of dollars. So you want to play as long as possible because yeah. that's going to be the vast majority of the income you make in your life. Yeah. So, yeah, that's true. You have to retire at thirty-one. And you've made two million to your name. That sounds like a lot to us, but that's not a lot over the course of the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, some guys, if you're good enough, you can go into media stuff or whatever. But that's, uh, you know, you probably at that point don't care about the money because you've probably already made enough. Yep. Two millions isn't loads when you're thirty, Dimmy. I mean, it, it's loads. Yeah, we'd all want that amount of money for the rest of our lives, but like. You're gonna you you will probably earn a lot more than two million in thirty years of working. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's the it's all front loaded. And also like they just play it they just fucking live a therefore they live like a more lavish lifestyle, don't they? Because they're getting that much and stuff, so like that's Yeah, kind of well, that's do. I mean that that's that's a little different because like if you're you know, if you don't know how to manage your finances and understand how far you can stretch what money you have, then that's kind of on you, <laughs> you yeah. know. But, like, yeah, if you want to keep your lifestyle at, you know, pinnacle of my earnings as a sports athlete, then you got to figure something the fuck out. Yeah. Um, not until they change them, uh, Steve. Martin. Well, first of all, they're not going to be in until they change them. I think all the teams that are teams of legend will just not be added to Blood Bowl 3 until they are added properly via a spike. Uh, you know, like update a tabletop. So I can't see them adding any of the teams of Legend until they're properly added to the tabletop game. Yeah. No, see, that's that's I that's really not true. If you're, as, I mean, Vili has already said most people work for about fifty years of their lives. You know, working at yeah, okay, maybe not at forty k a year, but like at sixty, seventy k a year, which is not at least in America, that's not that high a paycheck. <laughs> like, you'll, you'll, you'll I think it's I think it's well above average, average, to be fair. <laughs> 70k 70 ugh, I couldn't li I couldn't live if I wasn't earning about 70k a year <laughs> in, in my area oh, there you go yeah that's well over average yeah <laughs> yeah well listen I can't account for fucking Alabama and fucking Arkansas okay <laughs> talking about real states here with real people in them yeah you know, screw rich, with that rich liberal elitists yeah exactly yeah screw with that privilege yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Skuro making it rain up in the commentary box. <laughs> oh, dude. I know it's dollars, but it's still a lot, though, isn't it? Really? Two, that, two million dollars. Again, I'm not saying that no one wouldn't be like, oh, that's nothing. Obviously, it's something. My point is, if you've made two million. As a, as an athlete in your twenties, you know, and then you can't do that anymore, and you don't have any other job prospects, that money's gonna fucking dry up on you. It, is, it just is. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I don't. I don't, th I don't think you guys are really considering. You know how long term investing works. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, sure, Martin. Absolutely. If you if you put that money into, you know, an account, you know, like into investments, and it, it's going to grow. Like that's how rich people continue to get richer. That is how the system works. If you just put two million in your bank account and choose to live off of it without, you know, it growing in any way, that's my point. Is like it's not going to earn you any more money. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people could, but the, yeah, you can see the point, though, right? You can see right. the point. I, I, you, you, I think you've got your point across. Yeah. But um, I, I don't really care. I, I know, I know exactly what my point is, and I, and you've seen it in hundreds yeah. of thousands of athletes' stories and lives. So if you guys are like <laughs> sitting there being like, I, of course, a million, two millions enough to live <laughs> off of, like, yeah, I agree. 
<laughs> but that's not the point I'm making. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> so there you go. There is a chance of a one turn here, isn't there? Movement 7 Vampire. Um, whether he's set up for it or not, I don't know. Does he have sidestep on the move 7? He does. So, it's not really set up for it though, is he? Because he doesn't have a guy back here to punch. No, he's not even going for it. Wow. Wow, I think that's bad. Oh, they stand firm. Okay. Right, it's not bad because there's two stand firm and a sidestep. <laughs> Never mind. Hup, base, base, base. <laughs> Jim doesn't know shit. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> yeah, okay, he's not going to be able to do with a sidestep. Is he? He's got a juggernaut who could get one push. Um, but yeah, the sidestep just spoils everything. Oh dear. Took, took enough dice to get him down for an armor roll there, and he gets nothing for it. Will he foul with this dirty player? No, he might do. These are good players, aren't they? I was going to say no because he's got peasants, but obviously he didn't put peasants on the LOS to stop the, the, the yeah. one turn. So yeah, huge foul coming in now. Oh, oh, oh it's a Kaz! Badly hurt, he apples it, he goes for the, he goes for the win. Power apple. Yep. Still non-existent right now, Marty. So, I mean, Cyber's pretty much halfway to winning this game, isn't he? I know that sounds stupid, because he's, but you know, he is. He, he's done what he had to do in his drive. Um, he's kept all of his players, thanks to the Apple. Ducky's down. The guard player, which is pretty nice for him to be down, for uh, Cyber's point of view, and he's also down a vamp. So this is uh, it's looking pretty tricky for Ducky. A definite, definite advantage to Cyber. I didn't say he was playing. Did I say he was playing for the win? No, I was saying like he's 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 on track for the win. I think I think Cyber's definitely on track for the win here. Advantage, Rick. I think, I think I think the point I think you put the point you made by 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 appoing that one there and now he's uh, he's not thinking ahead of himself. He's not yeah. thinking about the next round so much as winning this one. Yeah, he's still sorry. focused on winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, what I meant was, I yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, putting everything in for the result in the game, obviously. Like, he might have been able to win without that guy, and then he could have had an apple in case he gets a death or a miss next game for the final. But obviously, yeah, you know, you've got to put everything into winning this game, haven't you? So it's not a surprise that he apple it at all. Yeah. It was a power apple. Yeah, sorry, I, yeah. Uh... Sorry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're, being, they're being pedantic today. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Incredibly Bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The winner right now, definitely Rick. Yeah, he's either facing Ducky without without a vamp, and what was this one? Yep, and without a thrall. So he's, he's you know, he's two players missing. Or the winner's uh, Cyber, which is great news for Rick. So, yeah, absolutely the winner is Rick at the moment. It's a catch, isn't it? You can catch it as well. And you could use the catch skill. Not particularly mind blowing. <laughs> Help's gonna just start taking. Help's gonna just start taking pro on his on his ball carriers just to be able to pro pro high kick catches. Now. In fact, you can probably pro non high kick catches as well. Yeah, yeah, if you catch them. I mean, you can also yeah. like dive and catch if the kick lands adjacent to you. You can dive and catch it with slam. Ah, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's being stubborn, our Yeti. It doesn't want to emerge. I don't know what's going on with it. I guess he's going to foul. See. Right, he's going to foul. He's he's leaving yeah. him exposed because he's going to put in a big old foul here. Okay. <laughs> 
Turtle's head mushroom. Turtle's head mushroom. Whoa, there's a Kaz! A ducky foul! Yeah. Ducky's made two fouls and they've both been Kaz, just quietly. <laughs> MNG, Rick likes that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Apparently I'm not the only one today who just woke up and <laughs> stumbled his way into a Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! For me, guys! <laughs> Rick can always find a way to make it a game. Just look at turn 15 and 16 of his last game. <laughs> yeah. That is true. What happened, Femi? Um Yeah, Ducky's made two fouls and cast two players. So the apple's gone for Cyber. And uh, all of a sudden, the uh, pendulum of equity is swinging back towards Ducky. Though still firmly in Rick's favor. <laughs> Cyber Knight with the heavy petting here. Yeah, it makes sense. Doesn't it, going uh, heavy petting. Heavy <laughs> <basing>. <laughs> 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 I like that you just like accepted what I said. Like, yeah, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about like how Skrull would, <laughs> would comment. <laughs> 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 um, Rick has had a bull centaur die and a couple of blockers die, but they just weren't that good. It, was, it wasn't that bad. It, the, the power of Rick's team has always been on the one good bull, and well, not always, since they got wrecked earlier. Um, the power in the chalice has been from his good bull and his two claw bombers, and he kept those. So really, just trim the fat off. You don't need six guard if you're claw pumming the living fuck out of everything, do you? So yeah, he denied wizards to elves. Exactly, it probably helped him. It literally, probably helped him though, though, when when the injuries came. <laughs> Apparently, that's not the command for it. No, all caps in it. All caps for the emotes. <laughs> Does that matter? I thought caps didn't matter. Yeah, they they do for emotes. Oh, not all caps. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the, 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 the oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah gotcha, the yeah. prefix is always lower, <laughs> and then the 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 case matters for the suffix. He didn't lose a third claw when he lost a claw mate. He lost a claw. Mate. He, he, was, he lost a guard. Oh, claw dodges mate. for the uh, foul. Yeah, and guard claw mate is a bit shit. <laughs> like you know, at the end of the day, it's not claw pom. So, who cares? The difference between Claw Mighty and Claw Pom is just massive. Especially if, like Rick, you just don't bother defending the ball for the first half and get maximum, <laughs> maximum removals, and it's it's pretty good. Like it's a, it's a, it can be a good strategy, isn't it? If you roll well enough, it's a pretty great strategy. Uh, so there you go. Not a removal, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, he's got a couple of he's got a couple of edge falls. Not decent hole balls, yeah. He's kept them. Got a couple of dirty players. Uh, he, oh yeah, he lost a strength four one, and he lost a claw mighty one. <laughs> I think. I think he lost the strength four one before the playoffs, though. He did have a strength four one. Dio had a strength four claw on it. Like at the end of the day, they're going to lose chorfs, aren't they? Chorf teams are going to lose chorfs because you just can't protect six blockers, like. You just, you just literally can't, so, but, you know, they, they get hit a lot more than other, than, like, even Chaos Warriors, probably. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> sake, Tim. <laughs> oh, man. As long as I didn't trace it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. What is it with chat today? 
Oh, there's a Dublu Schools. More reroll, of course, with the uh, Kekwadi. Brutus Pillow Fist is a great name, isn't it? Holy shit. Are these just default names? I don't think so. So he just called him. He just called him Brutus Pillow Fist. Pretty good name. What? I, okay, I took my headphones off to make another cup of coffee, <laughs> and I just walked back to. Oh, they just called him Brutus Pillow Face. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty funny name, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this is my evil. Is my evil blitzer is called Pillow Fist. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Pillow Fist, not Pillow Face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anime <laughs> Pillow Face. <laughs> That'd be even better. <laughs> oh, TV. Oh, man. He's had a bit of sympathy, hasn't he? Uh, he's had a bit of sympathy. Oh, wrestled. He tried to pro his way out of it, but he gets wrestled. It's surprisingly good, isn't it, sometimes, Wrestle? I really want to ask you how that's a prison reference, Jack Bull, but I do not want to know the answer. <laughs> uh, probably because you put a pillow on the, on the dude's head and then draw a picture of your wife on it. Like a fit your wife's face. Or <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking sharpie smiley faces. Yeah, exactly. Bang <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the... It sounds like uh, the British prison system's about as fucked up as the American prison system. Huh? No, I, I, just, I just thought of that. Jack Bull's American, isn't he? I yeah. just thought oh, of yeah. it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I assume that's correct. Oh, he re-rolls that! Wow, Ducky! Wow, I'm surprised. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. Because that was an instant re-roll. Yeah. Two minutes left. That was an instant reroll. Um, I think you might be feeling possible. a little desperate. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Like, I mean, I don't blame him for feeling a bit desperate. He's had a bad, bad uh, bloodlust there. Bad, bad block. But, I mean, he's not getting that much more back to protect the ball, is he? And both down. Yeah, I guess he does. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, he's, maybe it's just because he wants the foul. He just wants the old ducky foul on a stun guy. No, he's, he's fouling the ball. No, it's not. It's on. Oh, that was a blitzer as oh, yeah, well. It's on the... Yeah, it's Yeah. Okay then. So yeah, that's wow. It's a triple stun there. That's nice, isn't it? So that I put that reroll has actually showed this up immensely now with that foul as well. So there you go. Good reroll, I guess. <laughs> what big balls you have, Sharon? <laughs> We don't need to make light of. <laughs> oh, yeah, the stun wall is very helpful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Coffee monster. Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. We've been all over the place yet, and I still haven't, I still haven't hit my mushroom patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, this isn't really particularly funny or anything. Um oh, boy. <laughs> that's a, that's the setup to a conversation you really want to hear. <laughs> but uh, it just reminded me of the, the whole the whole the whole pillow thing reminded me of. Do you remember that picture that someone did where they restored like a painting of Jesus? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that story does bring me a lot of joy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine. <laughs> that could have been. Somebody find that link. Everyone knows what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Her heart was in the right place, I think. <laughs> yeah. At least she tried. Is that the name is that the name of the painting? Or is that just Behold the Man? I know my Latin. Mm -hmm. Oh dear me. <laughs> Fall. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know, I feel like I probably get the most flack on Twitch Blood Bowl for trying to maintain a level of political correctness for the group. <laughs> yeah, but that that was the joke, wasn't it? <laughs> that was the joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm still a little slow today. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a bit slow. The town is that way. <laughs> I love that line. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Picture. <laughs> like yes. it's, harsh. it's harsh to oh, laugh at someone's Sam. effort, but Jesus Christ, that's terrible, isn't it? It's really terrible. Oh, it's fucking glorious. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than I thought. It looks like a goddamn seal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like I can just see, like as someone who has done a fair bit of like art and painting in my day, I can just see like. Where she started going wrong, and she's like, if I put more paint on it, it'll eventually fix itself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, this is no, fucked. No, I, I should no, just no, stop and give up before it gets worse, but if I keep right. drawing, maybe <laughs> it'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coffee. That's that's mean. I, qu I quite like a lot of the art in the, in the, in the new Blood Bowl rule book and Death Zone. A lot of it I like. It's just some yeah. of it looks a bit like I could do it. <laughs> Which I don't think anything should look like I could do it. <laughs> I think you're a better artist than you give yourself credit for. Oh, well, thank you. But, you know. Like, when you look at, <laughs> when you look at, like, you know, some of the things, you're like, holy shit, I just couldn't imagine ever being able to do Yeah. It. I mean, w Games Workshop has long had a, a very good art department, I think. Yeah. Like, Is it Mark know, Gibbons, they... was he? I think he was my favourite one, yeah. He was my favourite Games Workshop dude, yeah. Like, the, all the Mark Gibbons stuff, I just wouldn't even have a clue how to produce right, that in right, my right. life you know like i can't, I can't even i can't even visualize never mind actualize being able to do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that wasn't a ducky foul ducky with a gym foul unbelievable yeah it's a style like yeah, so, my... so the, the blood bowl yeah the blood bowl 2020 art is the style so like it's fair enough isn't it oh god i don't know who that is i'm gonna look at something bad here Oh no, no, it wasn't. It was, it was a genuine thing. Phew. <laughs> fucking playing roulette over there. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it is playing roulette, Rus Russian roulette when you Google search things that people post in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ducky might have to score here, mightn't he? I mean, it is tough for Vamps to, to stall in general, but obviously Ducky's found it hard to deal with the Brett offense already this game, so I guess that's why he was trying to stall it for as long as possible, but there's other games he's been banging yeah, in early, hasn't he? I think he could probably blitz back into the middle, do a traditional cage and milk one more turn, maybe even two. Yeah. If he scores now, he's probably going to lose. But on the, on the other hand, Oh, he shot up a bit. On the other hand, um, yeah. like if he scores now, he's got three turns to turn him over, hasn't he? So it's like, yeah. if he doesn't score yeah. this turn, yeah. he hasn't got enough time to turn him over. Um, so it's interesting, interesting, uh, interesting. Wait, would Ducky? How many people does Ducky have on the field right now? Four, um, five, six. Seven, eight, eight players, nine, nine. ten, maybe yeah. he nine. could. Nine, he's got nine. Yeah. Oh, yes, he's, a a there, he's got it. the wrestlers no good against the jugs. Maybe he took jugs specifically for this game for the wrestlers. I don't know. I don't know when he skilled him up. Yeah, it's just a two plus now, isn't it? Yeah, now he's definitely gonna score. 
little, little, little scary with the bloodlust. Yeah, he's, he's, I just think he rerolled the bloodlust. Yeah. Nah, he's going in. Uh oh. Now. Oh my god. I think you have to reroll this. You can't rely on. Oh roll. my gosh. Yeah, gets it. All right, one one. Chance to counter score and win the game and go face Rick Reckless is in Cyber Knight's hands right now. Yeah. Jess Goodwin, yeah, yeah, he was good. They, they, they had a lot of good. Yeah, artists, didn't Jess they? Goodwin's great. Yeah, Jess Goodwin's great. Uh, Pete Nifton, he did the original Blood Bowl artwork, like in you know '88 or whatever. And, well, not the original, the second edit, and that that was just fucking unreal. Like that is that is a massive, massive. Fuck off, Jimmy. That is a massive part of why I got into Blood Bowl in the first place, to be honest with you. Pete Nifton, so there you go. And I think they tried to do that style a little bit for this one, but it didn't really, they didn't really get it. <laughs> it wasn't really achieved, but I, I didn't like the third ed artwork, to be honest. I didn't really like the third ed artwork. I can't remember who did it, but um, I don't know. I wasn't really, I wasn't a big fan of the third ed artwork. <laughs> God, I, I can't, I can't, I can't differentiate them in my mind without going back and looking at them. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know, know they're the very models different. Either, no. Models were sculpted by um, Gary Morley, and I honestly can't remember a single Gary Morley sculpt that I've enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, the classic. I, 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 I was always very resistant to Blood Bowl because the classic Blood Bowl models were just a little bit too not cartoony, but like. I don't know. They just the style of like goofy football, but like also just like a normal fantasy model just never really worked for me. Mm. Fair enough. He's done some that are alright actually. Googling him. He's done some that are alright, but he, he yeah. did the worst yeah, model think... ever. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I think coffee's on it. Like third edition and on is kind of where I was like, all right, I'm kind of more into this than uh, like NFL. Even though that's like clearly the spirit of Blood Bowl is like ridiculous NFL fantasy action. I just <clears throat> I liked it being, even though it makes less sense, feeling like it was like a league that was actually happening in the Warhammer universe. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it totally makes sense for them to do that. Um, but I just, I never particularly liked, you know, the, uh, oh, Dimmy. I never particularly liked the Warhammerization of it, you know, like, I didn't really like that it was Wood Elves. And, you know, like, the, the, it's the fact they looked weapon stiff, that's why I just didn't like that, you know, like, the fucking High Elves just literally looked like someone had got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Shadow Warriors or whatever and just cut off their swords and it's like, ugh. Yeah, I'd say so, Core Knight. There was definitely, le yeah, it was less cohesive at the time of Second Ed. Yeah, for sure. Even though it was only six years between Second Ed and Third Ed, it was definitely, it was a, there was a big shift from, like, in the way that the games were presented in between that time. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You know what? Maybe now that I'm thinking back on it, my actual initial problem with the the more classic style of it was was that you couldn't really mix them in to existing stuff. Like if you wanted a like a, a like I love the classic troll, you know, yeah. but he doesn't fit with anything else, you know. <laughs> if you go buy one of those old little metal models and put him in with a modern plastic team or whatever, it just looked awful. Yeah. Ooh, bad dice for cyber. Yeah, I think that was a, an essential reroll. Yep. Rocky with the wrestler though instead of a blocker. I mean, like he's got to, hasn't he? No, he doesn't. He's got three. He could have. I guess no. He wants to blitz somebody better with him. Okay, fair enough. Then. I only saw three blitzers, and I was like, "Oh!" But yeah, obviously this is the fourth. Will the school will paint Barry before twenty twenty four? Maybe. Yeah, like that, that yeah. both down. He's got so, your hands. Yeah. Duck oh, well, I mean, 10, yes, yes, never mind. Ducky's on 10. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Courtney and I said the same thing. Yes, I agree with you, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wrestle does like expose the ball a little bit, doesn't it? But I mean, it still seems pretty safe here. Very safe situation, unless the ball goes in the crowd off a one in nine. Even if it, like, it, if it, even if it's a one in nine, if it doesn't go in the crowd, I think it's all right. He's all right either way. Well, there you go, Reckless Brandon. If only you could do things like that, isn't it? If only oh, you could God, have. Reckless. If only you could have a, an F1 race, an F1 season where everybody has identical cars. That would be something, wouldn't it? Instead of just Hamilton wins every time because he's in a Mercedes. <laughs> Tom Brady had, you know, a, a Randy, a Randy Moss caliber receiver for more than one out of 20 years of his life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could still have teams, didn't you? You could still have teams. Like, you know, they'd, you'd still paint the cars, but just they'd all have exactly the same car. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, Lehman Rooks. I mean, we got to see what happens if you put the best quarterback on an otherwise shitty team, which was win the Super Bowl, wasn't it? <laughs> I think the Bucks. I actually think the Bucks were pretty loaded this year. Yeah, they did. They did make a lot of. I think. I think. I think you could make the argument in. I guess they lost those Super Bowls. The t the the 2011. Patriots lost to the Giants, their second loss to the Giants. I felt like that team was just awful. Yeah. And the Tom just like willed them into the Super Bowl with like Gronk had like one fucking leg and our other best receiver was a fucking murderer. <laughs> like... <laughs> Who's playing better, Sky Blue Monty? It's a good question. Um I think probably Cyber's rolling better. Maybe playing better? I don't know. Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say. We haven't focused much on the uh, on the action, to be honest. Mostly been talking about <laughs> prison pillows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, we only expended a little bit of effort on prison pillows, to be fair. <laughs> Yeah, he is leaving. Those, the, those super bowls. <laughs> over it. I'm over it. Manu, 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 because there's not, like, there's not a, you know, even if you think Ducky is better than Cyber, like, even if you do, I'm not saying he is, but if you think he's better, he's not that much fucking better, you know? So, like, or if he is better, he's not that much better. So, so whichever way you look at it, like, there's not, you know, they're both pretty much going to play about the same as each other. Yeah, and, and, like, even if Ducky's the best coach in CCL at all, playing with Vamps is a little bit playing uphill, you know? Um, it's a good team. He's got. He has a good team coming into this. It's obviously a team that can win, but it is a team that can take a little bit of your skill and 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 throw it in the trash because <laughs> because you failed a couple of inopportune bloodlusts. Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing was this cast, wasn't it? The cast failed failed Apple failed yeah. region. Yeah, that was huge. That was huge early. So you know, a lot of these games are going to come down to. Who rolled the best? Unfortunately, that's just kind of how it happens, isn't it? Oh, he goes for the relying on Dauntless to get a 2D, gets a 1D pow. No, they're not, they're not bad at all. I mean, they're high variance, but they don't match up very well against this team. That's the problem, because... Yeah. Like, Cyber's got all the, more the speed I, on him. More, I just mean, they have things that can just stop you that the Bretts don't have. Like, like again, Bloodlust can just fuck you, mm. you know? It hasn't been terrible, but... But then, of course, on the, on the flip side of that, the Gazers can just completely wreck you. But you can yeah, play around the Gazers a bit if you, if you could. 
So it's interesting, isn't it? He's got a route to the ball here, hasn't he? But he's not going to go for it. It wasn't easy. The only thing I'll say about the helmet catch, Jack Bull, is that there were four holds on the offensive <laughs> line. Wow, that's happening. You can see it in all of the NFL highlight films. Three dudes, or three or four dudes, just being blatantly held while Eli just heroically launches that fucking duck into the air. But, I mean, hey, it was what it was. It fucking wrecked the perfect season and you know fair enough but no uh, no i mean i'm not com i'm not complaining man i i you know i lived through it already we got through it and then we lost tom brady for a year six months later that was great <laughs> it's a real, real good time in my life mm. yeah that's true he did uh ducky did get two dice on the ball with tackle i feel like he had tackle on it yeah, he did. He did have tackle on it. And then he, he won in 81, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been. It could have gone a lot different, obviously. He didn't really have any recovery after it. He had the move vamp ready to act, but it wasn't easy to get to it. But yeah, that, that kind of devastated his drive, failing it. Um, so he could well have stopped him overall if he'd made that sack. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. The cheating, the 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 cheating thing, like trolling, doesn't really work on me. <laughs> <laughs> you can slander Tom Brady if you want to trigger me, but the cheating thing doesn't doesn't uh doesn't <laughs> hold any water with me. Who's <laughs> Tom Brady? The greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah. I mean, I listen, listen. If you can. A video of Nazi holds, that's fair enough, but like it just is. It's just one of those things. I mean it, it, to be fair, right, of course you're only going to of course you're only going to uh say that if you're a Patriots fan because everybody yeah. who isn't a Patriots <laughs> fan is happy the Patriots lost, isn't it? You know? Yeah. But so. also and also like, I mean, you could do that with almost any play in the NFL if you watch it in super slow motion. There's a yeah. hold on the line of scrimmage. Like, this is nothing new. Like, every mm -hmm. single Hail Mary, there's pass interference that doesn't get called. Like, that's just the way the game works. Like, it's just it's just always been frustrating because uh, my memory of watching the helmet catch was everyone was fawning over whether or not he caught it. And I was like, it doesn't matter. There's a flag down because of those holds. They were so blatant. <laughs> and that never came and never got spoken of again. <laughs> There's only two turns left now for Cyber, but of course he's got this is a nice little push into sidestep here, isn't it? I wasn't um, complaining. I wasn't complaining. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, it doesn't push the sidestep around. I quite like pushing the sidestep you know, further across. Yeah, I mean, peppered biscuits. Unfortunately, the refs okay. don't get to watch watch it in slow motion in real time, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like us. Yeah, <laughs> they don't have a bird's eye view of the play with eight cameras in high definition. Yeah. And also, they don't get paid as much as the, the sportsmen, so, you know, they might as well take the odd bribe. <laughs> they might as well just not be good at their job. Yeah, they might as well. They might as well take yeah, the yeah, odd Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> 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 you should talk with your pillow. He's just got a picture of Regor on it. Regor on one side, Tom on the other. <laughs> Rhett, listen, listen. I, I love me some Regor. <laughs> he doesn't hold a fucking candle to Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's Sharpie. It's got to be Sharpie drawn, Jack Bull. It's just like a rectangle for his jawline and a smiley face, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, the thing is, like, Dimmy with the uh, with the sin about they've got the they've got the slow motion and everything. They've got that on the challenges, but they they've got to have like a clear thing to overturn it, haven't they? And that's, it's not always clear to overturn. Yeah, and 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 you don't get so. First of all, there wasn't nearly as much uh, video replay in 2007, but also you don't get video replay for holding calls, so it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. You could see it in a replay on something else in the play, and you still can't call it. Well, this is remarkably easy, isn't it? Just gaze this guy and then go for the ball. Yep. Yep. But if it doesn't work, you're getting surfed. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. No. You probably want to put this guy to here, maybe, first. I don't know. 
but that's it. It's a what? It's a three plus gears. And one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI two D. I don't know, Dimmy, is every single aspect of soccer oh, yeah, reviewable by him. replay? I don't think so. Oh, good, he can just punch him? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that's, like, infinitely better. It's a one and nine, but he's going to obviously take it. Yeah, that's, God, that's incredible. Well, that's a, How that's did that happen? Be, yeah, that's got to be a misplay from Cyber, hasn't it? So there's your answer on who's played the best. Yep. <laughs> and that one, that means. Well, let's see if this pays off. It didn't last time. Got him this time. And it does this time. I wondered if it was good having the guard in the front still, you know, just before the bubble box and to keep this guy in case things failed. I didn't hate putting him around in front first. Um, he can't reach the ball now, though, can he? Edge four can uh, edge five can reach the ball, can it? Three, no, he's one short. Edge five is one short. Oh, he's one short. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shit. Oh, he's got he's got a scoring threat. Does he have to double GFI? So does he have to score. double GFI with the blitzer, the guy who just blitzed then? Bullshit. Yeah, but he, won't, he, he couldn't score then, could he? Hello, Flicky Flack. Thank you very much for the raid. Um, so yeah, I think he just puts in the guarder and the vamp and. Uh, he probably comes back with this guy and gazes him, doesn't he? Or is he going for the pass? Well, this is risky because he's oh, got he does. Punch. Oh my goodness. He can't go for the oh, pass. Oh like man. As well. He can't be going for the pass. He's just going to go and get in the way and gaze. And run back and gaze. Surely. Well, we were talking earlier about how Ducky might have been a little bit des feeling a little bit desperate. I think we're about to find out. He can't. He can, this is too, this is uh, yeah, I, too I, dangerous. There's I no agree. Way he can go for the pass. I agree. There's no, oh my god, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it! He didn't intercept. Does he re-roll? Care about inaccurate. No, yeah, so it's like not. a punt, isn't it? So yeah, it's a pretty good punt. Yep. There's one unengaged, uh, two unengaged peasants. It's gonna, needs a little luck to follow this up, though. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, the only. Well, he does have that dodge blocker right there. Yeah. But it's not easy to free up. Uh, I guess so he can, he can free up this guy. Um, just by wrestle blitz it. So he, this. this uh, problem is, he wants to. He want, he's got to free up him. He's got to block him first and see what happens. Because he's got to collect it with this blocker, hasn't he? So he has to block with a peasant first and sees what happens if he gets the pow. Maybe he just don't because he's got dodge, so maybe he just blocks him. For the push. Then block him again for another push. And then he can come through, blitz him. And then just rely on dodge for this dodge. Put two guys yeah. in him because he's at five. Move blitzer could, in theory, get to the ball, couldn't he? Yeah, the wrestler's better though, isn't he? This wrestler in the middle. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course, yeah. This is this is well doable. This is not even hard actually, and I think you you put in a reroll as well. It was easy to score without the throw for Cyber Knight. I don't know, unconcerned Elf right? because he could have put this guy in and gazed, and he could have put this guy back and gazed and stuff like he could have. He could have been doing things, but of course this this gave. Yeah, exactly, guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no cost to uh, him trying this. So he did get the pow. Oh yeah, so he, did, he didn't even need to hit him. Yeah, okay, so this is this is better. Wait, what? 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 That was hideous, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Geez. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Is this the undoing? Oh god! Oh my goodness! I think Cyber might have just won this game. He might have done. Oh ho ho!
Yeah, so he's got them, so if he fails the handoff, it might scatter to them and scatter back. Yeah. That's why those, that's why those are in. <laughs> he's got it. Not handoff yet. He's got it. It's a GFI with a reroll. Oh, boy. 1 and 36 away from Cyber Knight versus Rick Reckless. He's done it. Doesn't need it. And uh, that is going to do it. Cyber Knight winning it 2 0 in regular time. Bretts versus Chorfs. That tale as old as time. Coming in your finals. <laughs> He'd already handed off, Killy. The, the peasant handed off. Um, <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. So there you go. Rick is not fucked. No, I think Rick would have struggled more against the vampires to be honest i think this is a nice it's not a win everyone everyone congratulating rick is definitely uh is definitely premature but um you know massive congratulations for for cyber Knight, of course there commiserations ducky i think i think uh i think definitely you know cyber had the be the more luck there didn't he but um you know is what it is it, it, was, it was always going to be close, wasn't it? It was always... Yeah. It was always going to be really close. Yeah, that was an unlucky scatter indeed, Ducky. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's it. What a what a result. Um, yeah, bo both sides played very well, didn't they? Both sides played very well. Like, there wasn't a lot into it. I guess you could say it was a big mistake from Cyber to allow that 2D... Like, that super easy 2D hit on the ball, wasn't it? I, so you've got to say... If there was a mistake in the game, that was it, I guess. Um, but you know, overall, like it's hard, it's hard to play Ducky with Vampires for 16 turns and not do that, isn't it? So there you go. Thank you very much, yeah. Skuro Mezzo. Glorious having you here. Absolutely. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>